STS-51C was the 15th flight of NASA's Space Shuttle program, and the third flight of Space Shuttle Discovery. It launched on January 24, 1985, and made the fourth shuttle landing at Kennedy Space Center, Florida, on January 27. STS-51C was the first shuttle mission to deploy a dedicated United States Department of Defense DoD payload, and consequently many mission details remain classified. Topic. Crew Topic. Backup crew Topic. Crew seating arrangements Topic. Mission summary STS-51C launched from Kennedy Space Center KSC on January 24, 1985 at 14.50 Eastern Standard Time, and was the first of nine shuttle missions that year. It was originally scheduled for January 23, 1985, but was delayed because of freezing weather. Challenger had been scheduled for this flight, but Discovery was substituted when problems were encountered with Challenger's thermal protection tiles. STS-51C marked the 100th human spaceflight to achieve orbit. The mission was the first shuttle flight dedicated to the Department of Defense DoD, and most information about it remains classified. For the first time, NASA did not provide pre-launch commentary to the public until nine minutes before liftoff. The Air Force only stated that the shuttle successfully launched its payload with an inertial upper stage on the mission's seventh orbit. It is believed that the payload was a Magnum, Orion ELINT satellite into geosynchronous orbit. Other DoD flights STS-33 and STS-38 could have carried similar payloads. Payton stated in 2009 that STS-51C's payload is still up there, and still operating. Also according to Aviation Week, the shuttle initially entered a 204-kilometer miles x 519-kilometer-322 miles orbit, at an inclination of 28.45 degrees to the equator. It then executed three orbital maneuvering system ohms burns, the last being executed on the fourth orbit. The first burn was conducted to circularize the shuttle's orbit at 519 kilometers, 322 miles. The mission lasted 3 days, 1 hour and 33 minutes. Discovery touched down on runway 15 at KSC on January 27, 1985 at 16:23 Eastern Standard Time. IMAX footage of the STS-51C launch was used in the 1985 movie The Dream is Alive. Topic. Connection to the Challenger disaster Almost exactly a year after STS-51C, Space Shuttle Challenger was destroyed with all hands on board during the STS-51L mission including Ellison Onizuka, a crew member on both flights. As part of the investigation into the disaster, it was reported to the Rogers Commission that during the launch of STS-51C, the worst solid rocket booster SRB blow by effects of any mission prior to STS-51L occurred, indicating conclusively that the Viton O-rings were not sufficiently sealing the hot gases inside the combustion chambers of the SRBs while firing. After they were recovered post-flight, the O-rings in both the right and left SRBs showed some degree of charring, but analysis of the center field joint of the right SRB showed an unprecedented penetration of the primary O-ring and heavy charring on the secondary O-ring. This information was significant to the established consensus that low air temperature was a major factor in Challenger's destruction because the temperature at STS-51C's launch was also, up to its time, the coldest recorded during during a shuttle launch, at only 53 degrees Fahrenheit 12 degrees Celsius. See also 
List of human spaceflights List of space shuttle missions <laughs>